In this video, I'm gonna show you how to stream to a Facebook page, a Facebook profile, and a Facebook group all at the same time. Are you ready? Let's roll the titles. Hello, my name is Matthew Hughes, the king of video, and if you've not been to this channel before, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every single time I publish a new video, and it's every week, every single week. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to stream to a Facebook page, a Facebook profile, and a Facebook group at the same time. This is a common question I get asked, and there's a numerous pieces of software out there that do this kind of thing, but there's only one that's the best, and this software is of course Restream. I think, and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, let me know in the comments, but I re believe Restream were the first to do it. So of course I'm gonna show you that, and I'm gonna show you how to do it and why I think this is a software you should use if you're doing this kind of thing. So let's get started really. If you don't have a Restream account, then do head to the description for this video and I've got a link there to sign up for an account. Uh, even if you're just getting a free account to test it at the moment, uh, use that link because when you go to a paid version, you can get $10 a month off that paid version. So make sure you click on that link. Now let's just go to my screen share now. And when you've signed up, this is the view that you're going to get, which is the sort of uh, welcome to restream dashboard, but you don't have an, anything added here. So we're gonna have to add the Facebook page profile and group. So let's go through that process now. I've already logged into Facebook. So when you do this, it will ask you to log into Facebook, but of course I'm already logged in. So it's then gonna show you the next screen that comes up first. And, it, and you see it says, where do I wanna go to? So the first place I'm gonna add is my personal profile. So I just have to press save then, that was nice and easy. I'm gonna add the other two locations as well. So add Facebook, connect. Then I'm gonna add my Facebook page, which is the King of Video page. There you go, public page. It shows me all the lists of groups and pages I've got access to. Uh, the page, there we go. And then finally, I'm going to add the Facebook group. Facebook again, and Facebook group. So my group is called Grow Your Business With Videos. The link is in the description if you wanna join that group. Uh, great, fantastic, wonderful group, but I can't find it. There it is. Grow Your Business With Video, hashtag Video Rebels and I'll hit save there as well. Now notice that the toggle is on for all of these already. Like, don't worry too much, nothing is streaming right now. In order to stream to these, we have to go inside the live studio, and when we get in there, we're just gonna see the preview of our stream. Hey, if you want to see details of how all of this works, check out my full guide to Restream. It's in the end slide at the end and in the cards above. Uh, this section of the video right now. Uh, so I go through all of the studio, the live studio and how to use it. So don't worry about that too much. If, if you get here and you think, oh, I don't know how to, what all of this stuff means, I go through that in lots of detail. But right now we're just talking about live streaming to the free places. So I'll have to create some kind of topic in order to go live to these places. So I've given my stream a title stream into multiple destinations with Restream. I just wanna point something out here before we finish this. If I go to chat over here, you'll see that it says, want to increase engagement for your Facebook group, invite your audience to connect to their face, uh, connect their Facebook to Restream to show their name and profile picture. S send your viewers chat to chat.restream.io forward slash FB to start, right? And I can say, don't show me this again or Let's just copy the link address or I can close this. So uh, just notice what I did there. I right click that and press copy link address and I'm gonna add that to my desk, my thing here as well. So it says, there's the link. Okay, so I've, I've added this. Now Restream will give you a version of this. You can set that in the settings. I've added this little statement here. If you want to see your name and profile picture in the comments, click here to give Restream permission and then I've added that link in there. So it's part now of the uh, of the title and description. So here we go, it's in the title and description, all right? 
So now all I need to do in order to go live is to hit the go live button there and I would go live on the in these three destinations. Okay, so I've hit go live and I'm now live across those three destinations. Um, you can see they're all highlighted here. I can turn these toggles off and cut the live stream on that particular day destination. So it's a great way to grow a specific audience in a specific location. So for example, as I'm talking about going live to multiple locations here, I could say, hey, if you're watching on my profile or if you're watching on my Facebook page, I'm going to continue talking about this in my Facebook group. Here's the link to the Facebook group. And then I could put the link into the group and send them over there. Actually, that's been a really useful strategy for me in the past. So I definitely encourage you uh, to do that. And then all I have to do is as the stream is going, I just turn these toggles off and it will turn them off and I will continue then in the Facebook group. So a great little strategy for you as a, a, a general tip uh, once I click end stream now you're gonna see what's what will happen it will make the downloads available to me of course this is part of the paid plans as well so let's hit end stream I'll say bye to those people on Facebook that are watching uh, thanks so much for watching oh there you go look we've got a little um, a, a, a couple of comments here my audio is low yes my audio probably is low because I've turned it down for my recording so it is low of course um, but that's it. I'll say bye. Thanks, Alex. Bye. See you later. <laughs> and then we'll say end stream. Okay, so now we've ended the stream. We can see download recordings here. And if I hit on download recordings, uh, actually uh, what you will see is I've got my full video, the MP4. I've got the full audio if I was recording a podcast or something like that. And then I've got a audio track. If, the, if I had multiple guests, I'd have audio tracks. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is just because a lot of people when they're doing these live streams they want to know like how do I then take that live stream and repurpose it or reuse it across different uh, social media networks how do I take snippets out of it that kind of thing which you should absolutely be doing um, you can do this by clicking download the full video and again it's part of the um, part of the paid versions if you click on video storage here you'll see that in this option here here's the example that I've just done all right and that is it that's how you go live to multiple locations using restream and I will talk about LinkedIn in, in a different video but you can go to YouTube you can go to LinkedIn live a whole bunch of different places and I promise you if you do that you will get more eyeballs on your content all right, my name is Matthew Hughes, the King of Video. If you've not been to this channel before and you like this video, please do uh, press like. Do press like on the YouTube uh, video because that helps the algorithm know that this, this is worth it. But also don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell and you will be notified every time I publish a new video. All right, I will see you in my next video.